Hello once again, ladies and gentlemen of the Winter Circle. Welcome to Ziggurat. It is a game made by Milkstone Studios, also published by Milkstone Studios. It is currently $11.99 on Steam, and it is a pretty awesome action indie RPG type of game. It's currently on early access, but um, there's a bunch of cool stuff. Armory, you can look at the stuff that you can get during the game. But I want to hop into the game. The extras, you can really look at that yourself. Go look at the settings real quick. Game, pretty easy. You get field of view, view Bob, clear save data, so you can start all over again if you want. The controls are pretty simple. Um, set mappings, as you can see, you can reset however you want, but just move, jump, sprint, next weapon, previous weapon, weapon slot 1, 2, 3, 4, upgrade, um, use amulet, last weapon, etc, etc. It's pretty easy. Um, mouse sensitivity, you can change your gamepad sensitivity if you want to use a gamepad. Um, graphics, pretty simply here. Pretty easy to use, water reflections, motion blur, ambient occlusion, any of this in full screen, so on and so forth, and sound, one and two, sound and music, pretty easy. So we're just going to hop right into the game, and by the way, I always forget to say this is going to be a first look gameplay review, and I am play to win, as if you didn't know yet, I guess. But here we go, we're gonna just going to be the apprentice, but before we get into this, I want to show you how many characters you can be. You unlock them by doing various things that will tell you right here. This one we need to kill 200 people with our magic wand. It's our basic weapon, which is really weak. But um, I'll just tab over. There's 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 11 characters. Not even, I think, yeah, 11 plus this one maybe. Yeah, 11 characters. 11 or 12, whatever. Uh, it's a lot for early access, and I'm really excited to start unlocking some and seeing what they do. But they all start off the same. You start off in the Halls of Despair, floor 1. And we basically just have this magic wand where you can shoot it, shoot it all you want, and then let go. And this is the only magic item that actually refreshes. The other ones all go by the mana pool, which you see those three bars in like the middle right of my screen. Um, that Those bars will fill up with certain kinds of magic, which we use for certain weapons. Like this one, this is blue, so it's going to use that blue bar. And this is basically works like a shotgun type of deal. But this game, for what it is, like, you can uncover story and things like that by finding pages and just reading them. But this game really reminds me a lot of a game like Paranormal Activity. It plays a lot like the same. You gotta keep moving, it gets like really bullet helly, and enemies just keep coming at you. The only difference this has with Paranormal Activity, enemy-wise, is enemies don't all spawn in at once. They kind of spawn in in waves, or they just stay kind of here instead of all being at the on the map at one time, but there we go, we finished. And the thing I like is it lets you know how close you are to the room being done. There's no running around trying to find things. You be oh wow, this is gonna be freaking rough to do. I don't know why I'm going through here. Cause there's nothing back here. God, I'm an idiot. <laughs> All right, so there's bathrooms rooms like this. I did not know it would be back there. I probably should have checked my map, honestly. But uh, yeah, we're getting the hell out of here. Fire and lava and things like that in this game are very, very OP. As well as acid, you stand in them, they just eat away at your health. They don't even care. But that was kind of dumb you need to do. Let's just move on and try to get some health here. Um, wow, I've never seen a room like this one. This one's pretty, pretty smoky. It's hard to see. That's really cool. And uh, the mandrakes, we got these little, like, bald dinosaur thingies spitting acid at us. I'm going to switch my shotgun to take care of them faster. As you can see, the shotgun is really strong early on. Um, God, I'm trying to focus here. Oh man, there we go. It does seem to have kind of some framing issues. Like, my computer handles most games just fine. Like, for the most part, it runs pretty cleanly, but it does have a little framing issue, as you can tell, I'm sure. But, uh, you know, that doesn't bother me. Like I said, it's early access. This is why they make early access to make money to work on the game, as well as have us play and complain about one thing or the other so they can fix it. But I really have been enjoying it so far. This is like my third run in or fourth run in, but that's why I wanted to do a gameplay review now for you guys because I wanted to be a really a real first look on my first impressions of the game. Oh yeah, an upgrade. Sweet. So an upgrade never happens. You'll get a choice of two things. Knowledge gems give more experience or restore half your health max health points. I'll go Scholar. I'm leveling up a lot faster. Seems pretty cool. Um, and if I'm more careful, the first four isn't that difficult. And you see, we just got some health right there. Uh, but if we beat the final boss, make it to the final boss and kill him, then he drops a lot of health anyway, so I'd rather go with quicker leveling up, because we can get more of those sheets, which will allow me to 
either do more damage or have more mana or I can also keep my those health that health card that showed up, that actually has a chance to show up again. Cards that you don't pick stay in the pool, I believe. Like you can still get a chance to have them showing up more. But take them out. There we go. Let's see if we level up from this. Probably not. One over here. So I'm actually getting dangerously close to death. Maybe I should have taken that um, health thing. I always shoot these boxes open. I've never seen anything useful inside of them yet, but I'm going to keep shooting them. Maybe something will happen. Just shoot them from the distance. Be careful. And this is something really important that we need. This is a portal key. So now when we find the end of the level, the boss, we can actually summon the boss. So you need a portal key in order to summon your boss and like pretty straightforward stuff. It's really cool. Oh god, a flying head enemy. Those things aren't- oh, I'm probably gonna die here, honestly. Someone please drop some health. There you go, thank you, sir. Got, the, got some health I needed. Lost some enemy- oh wow, we leveled up and we got more health, so... Getting pretty lucky here, um, this could save the run. But yeah, my first reaction to this game is it's really a lot of fun to play. It's pretty addicting. Like, I know I've only played like three or four runs, but it's definitely one of those games where after each run you're like, okay, one more run, one more run, we can get farther. And the fact that you unlock more stuff as you go on and find more things, it just makes you want to keep playing. It's really, really cool. And I enjoy it. Like, it's basically like, like I said, like turning off the activity, but with magic spells. It's really, really awesome. I, I've been enjoying it a lot. But we got another upgrade. That's what we can get. Increases your stat mana pool. Show one more perk when leveling up. Um, hmm. I think we'll go with Bookworm. That seems really awesome. Bookworm coupled with faster leveling up. We could probably get some really amazing things this way. But moving right along, we get... This is some lore here. Basically, it tells you when playing... It, it's just kind of lore of the game and stuff. Just weird, random things. When playing and gambling, it's always easy to bet on one's instinct. However, when the other player is Grim Reaper, everyone knows that any attempt at negotiation will be useless. Either you win or lose, there will be a middle. There will be a middle. I think there may be no middle. But here's the end of the level. We drop our portal key. The boss comes out. And I never fought this boss before, so it should be pretty interesting. What makes the bosses a pain in the ass is they will summon more enemies for you to deal with, as you see right there. But, uh, I was doing a lot of damage with that little shotgun thingy. I wish I had a lot more mana. Oh, God, that was painful. Wow, that is extremely painful. But we beat him. Got a lot of health. We leveled up, um, picking up some more mana and stuff. Nothing else? Okay, let's level up. Increase mana pool, restore half your points, or switch your mana pools randomly and increases their size. Huh. I think I'll go with uh, Staff Scavenger. Seems like a good idea. All right, here we go. Into the next portal we go. So this will bring us to the next level, and uh, so on and so forth. It's kind of like a, a dungeon crawler type of deal, I guess you could call it. Many levels. It's a roguelike. I believe, in my own opinion, it's a roguelike because there is character progression as well as permadeath. And here we got the same spell. This has happened to me a lot. Like they'll leave me the same spell that you already have. I pick it up anyway because I think it does give you more magic picking it up, so it's not going to hurt you picking up the same thing. It's just kind of sucks like you want to see something different and all that fun stuff. Oh my god, I've never seen this guy before either. What the hell are these? Well, wherever they are, they die pretty easy, so that's good. And I never had a problem with running out of mana in this game, really. Like, once you start accumulating mana, they seem to honestly drop it pretty, pretty often for you. However, there's still have been times where I have ran out anyway. That's why you always have this magic wand with you because it never runs out, so it's a very good thing. It's just very, very weak. It's not that strong at all. So you gotta be very careful in using it. We'll keep moving on. Let's see how far we can go before we die. But art style, first impressions, honestly, I I rather enjoy it. I think it's pretty cool. Um, I'm not sure what else feels about it, but I love the art style. There's music to it, but I think I've turned it down too much so you can't really even hear it. So, um, oh, healing amulet, nice. And you use E to use the amulet. Let me see if I can turn the music up some more. I apologize so you guys can actually hear the music. There we go. Perfect. I, I apologize you didn't hear the music before, but now you should be able to hear it. The music's decent. Um, I think it fits in all right. But, uh, yeah, I haven't heard too much of the music because it's easy just now. I just turned it up. So, sorry, cave. More stuff to read. Blah, blah, blah. Did that make me... Oh, it does, it does give me experience. It's really cool. So, increase your spell mana pool. Increase your staff mana pool. 
fills your mana pools. Okay, we'll do Spell Collector next. Um, as you can see, the mana pools on the right. I believe the blue is um, Spell. The green is your staff. I'm not sure what the number four is. I've never gotten a weapon for number four yet. But maybe I will. Hopefully this run would be cool. But if not, I mean, I'll get it eventually. That shows in here. Oh, God, these traps are annoying as shit. Let's just run through. Get out of there. Yeah, those trap rooms are kind of a pain. Obelisk. Now, this room is rather interesting. Because um, the obelisk, you got to take this out first before you can take out minions. I believe this may summon minions, perhaps. It definitely seems to be maybe what the case is. But, uh, you have to just want to focus on it. Get it out of here. Ruin its life. And there's one now. So hopefully that oh, wow. That's a lot. That is a lot of angry skeleton heads. Whoa. Whoa. Okay, let me focus for just a second here. It's pretty nice. Oh, my God. Okay, I'm probably going to die in this room because there's a shit ton of things that happen. Why is there so many? Oh my lord, why is there so many? Oh god, where's the other obelisk? Oh, it's all the way over here. Shit. Well, I need to ruin this thing's life because I'm going to be ruined in a moment. Oh my lord. This is not good. Obelisk, die, please. I greatly appreciate if you just die. Gotta keep moving around, try to dodge these things attacking me. Oh man, I think all the minions I still have to kill. Oh shit. Yeah, this is not good. This is not good. So this might be where our run ends. This is a little ridiculous. Whoa, this got pretty crazy pretty quickly. Got him. Alright. I'm starting to regain control now. Um, just gotta, like, go against him. Go away from him, kind of like your matador, it just seems like. Now, oh, where's this other one that's moving? I hear something. Um, minions, where are you? Oh shit, there you are. So we did take a lot of damage in this room though, unfortunately. It kind of blows, but... You know what, we're still alive. We're gonna make it through alive, I'm pretty sure now. I thought we were gonna be dead meat, but hey, we, we made it. We did it. That was really freaking scary. But, uh, wow, we, we got through it. Close to another level up, maybe we can get a health level. Oh, God. <laughs> maybe we can get a health level up or something, that'd be nice. Oh, still caught me on the way out. In here, we got some minions. Alright. These guys are pretty interesting because you destroy them and they spawn two little guys. It's really cute. Get out of here. I shot you. Dude, die. I shot you a lot. Well, I'm taking a lot of the dumbest damage ever in this level. I think you can see, like I said, we spawn two little guys on us. Um, any more health anywhere? That'd be nice. I think he might be the last guy left right here. Alright, perfect. We leveled up. What can we get? Mana jumps give more magic energy. Enemy drops take longer before they disappear. Um, fill your man okay, we'll go with Warlock. This sounds pretty good. We'll take the Warlock, plus these open, see if they give us anything, doesn't seem like it, again. But yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying the game, it's pretty, pretty amazing, it's beautiful, I've been enjoying it so much since I've gotten it. Uh, maybe I was supposed to do it this, oh god, that was dumb. Maybe I was supposed to do it that way, just two blocks at a time. Yeah, that seems right. Oh yeah, I got the E, the, the um, amulet you saw that I just hit E for. The amulet charges over time, I think it might be over kills or something. But then you hit the E button to restore a little bit of your health. It's a pretty nice item to grab. Pretty nifty. Um, oh shit. Not a small room. Get off me! Shit. Shit. Yup. Oh, we died. Um, yeah, it kind of sucks to get small rooms like that with things charging at you. It's not much fun at times, but hey. That's what you get. It's a roguelike, right? Um, I really enjoyed this game a lot. I hope you guys will check it out. Like I said, it's called Ziggurat. It is on Steam Early Access. It came out August 14th on Early Access, so not sure if you guys have heard of it yet or not, but if not, thank you for watching this video and finding out about it through me. But uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, leave a like and favorite. It helps out a lot. Also, subscribe become part of my winner circle, and I'll see you guys next time. As always, everybody, have a great day.